Nikki Griffith. The wife of an American pastor imprisoned in Iran has a message for America's top political leaders. Don't forget her husband. Our John Jessup was there as Nagme Abedini made that plea today at a hearing on Capitol Hill. He brings us tonight's top story from Washington. This hearing focused solely on the plight of Pastor Saeed Abedini, a native-born Iranian who eventually became a naturalized U.S. citizen and has been in prison in Iran for more than a year. Now, for those who aren't as familiar with the story, let me give you a little background. Last summer, he traveled to Iran to help with an orphanage for Iranian kids. While he was there, he was arrested on charges that he was a threat to national security. He was put on trial and then sentenced to an eight-year term in January of this year and has been languishing in prison ever since. His attorneys, along with his wife Nagme and their two young kids, are pleading for his release. They say his sentence is nothing more than a trumped-up charge, and they believe the real reason he's in prison is because he's a former Muslim who converted to Christianity. Nagme said she feels let down by her country, the U.S. government, since Pastor Saeed's release was not a precondition to the recent U.S.-Iranian nuclear deal, and she had sharp words for leaders in the highest level of government. When I spoke in front of the Tom Lantos uh, Human Rights Commission in March of this year, um, I had anticipated that I would battle the Iranian government for my husband's freedom. I never anticipated that I would also ha have to battle my own government. How strong is our American president? How serious is he about American security? Would he act immediately with firm resolve to protect and to defend. Nagme says she won't give up. As long as her husband is alive, she'll continue to fight for his freedom. Members of Congress also made that pledge, saying they'll hold the administration's feet to the fire and demand proactive action to secure his release. And they want to make sure for anyone who's listening that Saeed Abedini's name will ring out in the halls of Congress and echo loudly around the world. John Jessup, CBN News, reporting on Capitol Hill. The American Center for Law and Justice represents Pastor Saeed and his family. It says his life is in jeopardy after being beaten and tortured, prevented from taking his medication, and being transferred to a notorious prison with rape and murder convicts. Tonight, our John Jessup is sitting down with Nagme Abedini. Make sure you check out that interview on tomorrow's 700 Club and Newswatch.